Now, a lot of you might be thinking, learning public speaking is just like learning a classroom subject. But in fact, it's very different. Learning public speaking helps you in your day-to-day -day life. It helps you when you go for an interview. It helps you when you meet someone new. And in this current context, it helps you to speak out and voice your opinion. Think about it like this. If you have something to say about the current context, if you have something to say about what's happening with the government, what's happening with the country, one of the best ways that you can voice your own opinion is by speaking out on social media. The only thing you need is a phone. And I'm assuming if you're watching this, you already have that. So if you're afraid to voice your opinion, because I'm sure you have one, you're letting down not just yourself, but you're letting down thousands of people that you could have helped if you just voiced your opinion and let your opinion be known. Think about what's stopping you from doing that. Yes, it's understandable if you're related to an organization, if you're working under the government, it's understandable that you can't speak out. But if that's not you, then what is stopping you? The fear of other people's opinions. What will people think about my public speaking skills? What will people think about my opinions? The truth is, it doesn't matter what other people think. If you believe what you are saying is right, whip that phone out, get yourself on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever, whatever social media platform that you're comfortable with, speak out and voice your opinion. That's where public speaking and everything that we've been teaching here comes in handy for you. As of this very moment, there are so many people, hundreds of thousands, protesting at Goldface Green. They're making sure their voices are heard. They're rallying people around them. They're stepping up to their role as youth leaders. Are you taking on a leadership role? This is where public speaking comes in. If you are a confident speaker, if you are someone that can speak out and make your own voice heard, you will be able to rally people around you. People will want to listen to you, to see what you have to say, to see how you are going to lead them to a revolutionary cause. So if you want to make your voice heard and step up to your role as a leader, make sure you learn public speaking. Make sure you practice to become the best version of yourself that you can be. You see many people coming for the protests without knowing what their purpose is, without knowing what their cause is. They're going there to just have a good time, to eat food, to party. They don't know why they are there. They don't know what they're protesting for. It's the same with public speaking. Make sure you know what you are talking about. Make sure you have all the information. Make sure you have a purpose in what you are saying. You have to have a message that you are trying to put out to your audience when you are speaking in public. So if you're going for the protests, make sure you know what you are protesting for. As the future generation of our country, it's our responsibility to educate ourselves and to equip ourselves with the skills that we need to ensure that this sort of problem never occurs in our country again. Will public speaking help you in this journey? Absolutely. How else would you voice your opinion and seize the opportunity as a youth leader? If you don't fight and learn now, then when? And that's what we have for you today from the Success Academy.